In 2018, we left all we had ever known behind in Florida to make our way to Alaska in an attempt to drive our truck camper from Alaska to Argentina. We made it to the top of the world and turned south only to confront one challenge after another. But along the way, we fell in love with the road and realized that our call to wander would need an RV with a little more space. So we sold our truck camper and purchased a 22-year-old Class C motorhome that needed just a little bit of TLC. This is the story of how we spent six months remodeling our new home on the road. Helen's baby. Mm -hmm. You wear my sweatshirt. Yes. I'm cold. You got your own sweatshirts. Well, I have to go upstairs to get that sweatshirt. Yours was already downstairs. Welcome back, by the way. Um, this is bonus, maybe hour or two, and I'm going to take out the floor stuff and uh, the flooring and kind of piece together some of it and see what is going to work and what's not going to work and how it's going to work. It's um, It should be relatively easy to do, and I say that knowing that nothing that we're doing is easy. But I do know that I've got a lot of straight runs in the camper, and so once I get it going, I should be able to just snap these pieces in place and make some really nice ground, uh, literally, as I'm laying this stuff down. And of course, we're not just going to lay this down in big, long pieces all the way across. We're going to stagger it a little bit. So I'm going to be playing around with that tonight and try to figure out how it's going to work out. Because if I can figure out the how, then hopefully tomorrow we're going to be here for about eight hours working on the camper. And hopefully in that amount of time, I can knock out a lot of the floor. Stuff's heavy. It's supposed to be supposed to be able to score it with this, so this should be the only tool I need, and a hammer where I can tap it into place, a whole sheet of it, um, and then a little board, a little plank. I'm gonna go grab that, but this should be uh, this should be what I need. So the first step was just kind of getting the feel for it, literally taking it out and feeling it, and it feels pretty awesome. Um, these planks are. Good size, they're seven and a quarter inches wide, which is great because it's going to cover a lot of ground. And they are 48 inches long. All right, so something to notice for us at least is that we want to stagger because if you put them all across, you look like a doofus. And we don't want to look like a doofus. So we're going to stagger it. So we're going to go 16 inches out. Which means we're going to be right about exactly, that's why I like the square. We're going to be exactly right there. And then Stay. Until it moves. Stay! <laughs> Stay! Lindsay and I have a New Year's resolution to be positive. So I'm positively pissed off at this thing right now. Alright, so I'm supposed to be able to score it. Hopefully I do not cut my through fingers the, off. Or through the camper floor. I'm not worried about the camper floor. I don't know how many times I should score it, but I'm going to overdo it. Hopefully. Let's see. Look like a cut through. <laughs> I'm like afraid to, to snap it. Oh my gosh, it freaks me out. <laughs> well, once I do this, I've done this now, and I'll be able to put it in place. Here, I'm going to do 32 inches, which should be the other half of this, which is the brilliant thing. Like that. So let me just show you how it pulls apart. I'm not going to worry about getting it flush and all that right now. What I am going to do is just make sure it looks good as we stagger it. So this is the general idea is that now there's a seam right here. Mm -hmm. and there's a seam right here. Mm -hmm. And then there'll be a seam right here. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to come back, have another seam there, and then there. And so it's going to stagger along. 
We have some issues we're going to address, but in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and just start cutting things and fitting them together. I'm going to start that manana because I'm hungry for dinner. Mm -hmm. And then I'm hungry for uh, relaxing a little bit tonight. Dinner sounds amazing. Yep, it is Taco Tuesday, and you made some phenomenal tacos. So, that being said, I'm going to get back at it tomorrow. You can get hmm? back at it tomorrow? Yeah. So we're going to take a little pause and let you see us when you see us, which will be on the other side of this. That looks fun. Yep, got to be very careful. But I like this brush that I bought. So you're saying I can't tickle you? No, you can't tickle me. And don't do that either because... Uh-oh. Yep. Lindsay's going to be mad at me because yes. we just scuffed up the... All the paint that I just worked. She did. She scuffed it up. Endlessly on. Look, you could let me tickle you without jumping around. We're never done with painting. Yeah. Ever. It just goes on and on and on and on. So, Lindsay's got touch-up she's doing around here. I'm jumping back on the floor. Literally, I've got a lot of puns with, with doing the floor. But I'm working on getting this all put together. tired and sore I'm squatting so I'm working out my thighs which I don't really have I can already feel the cramps my knees are bony so they are they're hurting um, but uh, oh and this is the third time I've done the floor mm -hmm. so the first time I did it just to practice the second time I did it to do it and then the third time I realized I didn't do it right the second time so I had to go back and do it right the third time which is par for the course with me and that's why you watch this video, so you learn from my mistakes. Why, is, why do you have that look on your face? This part of the job is crappy. And when I mean crappy, I mean like I gotta take the toilet out. Mm. When we dump the toilet, when we dump, we dump the tanks, yeah. we had other people's poop. It was sitting there for who knows how long. So oh, I'm gross. scared to think of what I'm gonna see. I've never seen actually underneath the toilet. So for the best of my understanding, there's a screw over here and a screw over here. I should be able to loosen the nut and just lift it up. And then the hole that goes down to the tank should be right there, just like a normal toilet. I have seen the underside of a normal toilet. I've switched a couple of those out. I think it looks pretty similar. Yeah. I think it has the same gasket yeah. set up. So if I screw this up, we're going to be using a five-gallon bucket for a toilet on the road. How about that? I can make a composting toilet. A little bit of kitty litter in there. <laughs> It'd be Just gross. Like though. our sailboat. It'd be gross to clean up, but... No, you put it, you, know, you line it with the bag, you throw some kitty litter in there, you poop <laughs> it in it. stinks. Then you wrap the bag up and you toss it. <laughs> Go Gators. All right, enough talk. It's time to walk away <laughs> from this job. No, don't, don't shut that. Good thing you're here. These are the things why I get cuts on my yes, head. Yes, but I, I have stand to, up and I. I either need to go buy those. I need to go buy those little felt stickers, so the paint's not sticking. Oh yeah, we forgot about those. And now the fun part. Come on, lady. Uh, I'm not the, looking forward to this. I'll hold the bag, you hold the toilet. No. You're gonna hold the bag? I'm not looking forward to this. 
You gonna hold the bag? Yeah. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Ugh. That was easy. You probably don't even need the bag. Mm. Well, we do need it. No, oh, it smells. Yeah, oh we, my we, gosh. We gotta cover that up. Oh, oh I Wait. thought that. Get something to cover with. With what? I don't know anything. time being, crisis averted. Hopefully the poo-poo smell stays inside the poo-poo hole. The poo-poo hole! Oh, ah! it. oh, it's nasty. So if I get the carpet out... Oh, it's probably got poop all over it. No. It's got bleach, though. I have floored around the toilet, so now it's time to go get the toilet. I'm gonna put it back in, um, but I'm not gonna lock it down too much because I still need to build this box to hide the wires and the hose. So I'm gonna pull the toilet out again later, but for now, I'm gonna put it back. That way we don't have a toilet just sitting out in the driveway. It's kind of awkward. 